Wow, two two seconds to find a game. That's all right, isn't it? Not bad. Um, Kemri pretty bad because I don't get lucky. They've got the strength and everything, haven't they? I mean, I guess I do have Claw Mighty Blow now, so. And some Mighty Blow. 13 guys, but they've got a regen. They're the sort of team that if they stay on the pitch, it's it's tough, in it? But if they don't stay on the pitch, it's easy, so it'll be interesting. Right, anyway, I'm just eating my dinner, unfortunately, at this moment in time, so I'm going to have to eat that. So I will be silent for the, uh, the first portion of this game. The funny thing is, it's pretty easy to get touchdowns on um, on mummies. <laughs> Just because you dominate games more easily, don't you? Um, but yeah, it's good. To be fair, his level ups are a bit shit, aren't they? He's only got an edge. Dodge on his throw rah. And what's this kickoff return? Oh, I misclicked. I was trying to click on his kickoff return guy. It was kickoff return. So yeah, he's he hasn't got good skills, which is good, isn't it?
Also, the way that the, the way that Reddit um, tells you to beat Kemri is to laugh at how bad they handle the ball. They'll never be able to pick it up. So it's you know they'll never score against you. Um, but yeah, yeah, block them is pretty good, aren't they? The block, the block, the block, fucking Og is going to be awesome on this team now. Not even stabbing. What a madman. Right, time to do the lotteries on the old, uh, on the old Pokemon Sun Festival Plaza. <laughs> yeah, exactly, Squirrel Dude, yeah. It's 75%. I mean, there's 75% to pick it up each turn. And people are like, oh, they'll never pick it up. <laughs> it is, isn't it, Almato? Yeah. Yes, that's true. <laughs> ah, fucking Reddit does my head in. Oh, that was good, wasn't it? Oh, he's got four rerolls. Not that good. Is this a default name? Because that's a that's a funny default name. If that's a default name, which is the longest name in the world. I guess it might be, because it looks like the other ones are. <laughs> is, that, is that a default sign name? <laughs> I don't know, maybe not. <laughs> Maybe he got it from somewhere. Where where is it? He's gone. Uh. <laughs> That's a good name, isn't it? <laughs> Jimmy's a commentator, please announce that name. Um It might be too long to type in, it looks like it, doesn't it? Asafetiyamkekem. Asafetiyamkekem. Kekef. Kem. Kemef. All right. Asafetiyamkekem. Asafetiyamkekem. Kemef. Easy. <laughs> My name's Jimmy Fantastic. Hello. <laughs> I don't say it enough, you're right. Not enough. Okay, so could surf an edge guy would be possible. Block him, push him to there, surf him. But he's just a fucking basic skeleton, so I think it's probably not worth it. Better to get the block on him, maybe Kazim. Um and to get the block on him by blitzing with a mighty block guy. Oh, I might be able to do a very sexy move here. Okay. Get him in there first. Oh no, I don't even need to do it. Okay, block with block first. Blocks with block. There's no need to, no. Okay, so just block here. Yeah. Haha, oh, block, block doing something good. Good old block. I want to get the ad, hour nine done, I need to the stabber. Rather than an armor eight guy. Claw wasted TV. Hmm. 
Standing up to give away 2D, but he doesn't have block, so it's not that bad, is it? So I think, I think I'll do that. Come on, armor seven. Hey, Chiefs. Get him in there because he's strength four. And I think go for this dodge out because it does it does protect the claw guy a bit, doesn't it? I think if I drop the claw back a little bit anyway. I think this dodge out of here. I hate dodging out normally, but I think this does stops the assist in there. Makes it harder to break down, break through, if if it had worked anyway. Of course, it's a failing number break, like it always is. <laughs> 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 but there was at least like there was a reason to dodge away there. I don't like doing it without you know just just because. But there was actually a good there was a good benefit for for succeeding there, wasn't there? Good reason, good benefit, good pay after succeeding. Oh, bottle cap. Oh, and a fail, and a fail there, and it was done. <laughs> oh, glorious! All right, this sexy bastard can't reach. This sexy bastard can, but I'd probably want him to be hitting Tomb Guardians. Nah. All right, so get him some cover. He really has to be hitting Tomb Guardians. Block with block. Oh, you can't. This is so dumb because I should be able to block him, but then the only way to get the assist in is with the guy who wants to blitz. Could follow here, two dice him, but then it'd need a power to free him anyway, so I guess it's not worth it. Alright, fuck it then. Get the blitz in. He's a bit stranded now, isn't he, this guy? I guess. Oh, it's a screen there anyway. He's not useless. I think I re-roll the pick up here just because obviously getting the ball on him is pretty important. Don't even have to. Pretty glorious game so far. Just quietly. <laughs> I mean, literally the worst move in Blood Bowl at least a few days. It probably was, to be honest. That was really terrible. And I just got a bottle cap from my lottery shop as well, so it made it even better. Double, double the fun. Another bottle cap. Oh, glorious. I've got way more bottle caps than I've got level 100 Pokemons, like. I should probably put a few Pokemons in Poke Pelago to get them to level 100. Another bottle cap? Oh my god. <laughs> 
Oh, I wish I had the capture card. Fucking hell. Um, in El Mato said it. Um, I don't know how this. Uh, in the Pokemon Sun, um, there is a thing called a bottle cap, and you can you can exchange the bottle caps. Um, well, you can give this guy a bottle cap, and in exchange for giving, no, no, you can't, no. Yeah, you, you give you give this man a bottle cap, and in exchange he maxes the IVs of one of your Pokemon's. So, um, but the the only thing is you you've got to be level hundred to be able to use it, which limits it limits its usefulness. But it's still good, because it means like especially with legendaries where you know you don't really get to get you can't breed them, can you? You can't breed good. IVs for legendaries, um, but you can use uh, you can use the bottle caps to get good legendaries. Basically, that's the main use of them. All right, so I can block my guy free here if he assists there. Because I really do want to free somebody up, don't I? Should have pushed him out. Would have been better, really. He could blitz him to two dice him with an assist, or I could just blitz this guy and then get these guys back to cover. One, two, three, four, five. My cage, I didn't need to free that guy up. Are you shitting me? I'm so bad at Blood Bowl. Should have put them one across so that if I'd powered him, I could have been completely safe. That was pretty bad. I just didn't think of powering him. And go there, I guess. And he can't really get the ball here, can he? That was a shame though, that was really fucking bad. Because I could move there and one dice ten, I guess, or something. Alright, Lotto Bob. He learned nothing, that's true, I know, yeah, yeah. Blitz with the ball carrier, yeah. I mean, it was risky, obviously, but he was the only guy who could reach him there. <laughs> yeah, this is good, isn't it? He's going for the herb dirt base, base, base. It might not end well for him. If it shouldn't, on the balance of probabilities, end well for him. But on an individual match, it can go well, can't it? That is, that is the thing. So yeah, the the so the the main use is for legendaries, bottle cap legendaries. But also, what's very good, what's very good about the bottle capping is, it means you can get um, any hidden power you want now. So for example, some Pokemon's would have to have like you know a bad stat for something to get a good, to get the hidden power that they wanted, whereas now, they don't have to because they can just. Uh, they can just bottle cap to make their stats all perfect. Right. Do I go for the serve? I guess I make the block first and then see if I see if I can go for the serve. 
No, no, sir. Basing a mighty blow, not going too great for him. I only want to boot to the ball carrier, which isn't isn't ideal, is it? <laughs> If he blitzes him, but then I've got to stand him up. He could one dice him, and he could one dice him. Mm. Stop talking gibberish. <laughs> yeah, he's just missed next game. <laughs> Stop talking gibberish. Ah. <laughs> uh. Could blitz him for a push, and then he could dodge out one, two, three, four. I could just dodge him out first, and then if it goes wrong, it's not the end of the world. Glorious. Oh man, powered him. Don't really want to. Oh, he might foul, he's got loads of players. Let's put him in a good spot. This is a much better spot for him, isn't it? If he if he gets there. Oh, God. And I really can't risk failing, like doing anything with him because he'll crash into the cage, won't he, if it's a fail. Yeah, plus Adrian Escalino is pretty horrible, yeah. Yeah, pretty horrible. Yeah, 14 wants to score, doesn't he? Yeah, that's fair. Fair shout. Base, base, base. That doesn't make getting it to the uh, the fourteen star player point warrior harder because he was going to do the blitz to free himself. It's a little bit tricky to protect it, isn't it? Maybe so I just need to not care about protecting it so much and just get forward now. Obvious chain is obvious. Base, base, base by uh, Mummy. Seems the Mummy's already basing them, I guess. Just get him in the mixer. Make sure I've got the reroll for this two dice bar. That one. 
follow up on him even though it gets him free because it frees the warrior up next turn I didn't follow up, I pressed stay by mistake but I wanted to follow up <sighs> sorry Bran Hill I didn't change the title, I'm sorry Well, to be fair, Freak, that, that, that 270 D6 included his opponent um, his opponent rolling ar ar armor and injury dice on his Skaven, so it wasn't, it wasn't that, uh, it wasn't that. Yeah, it's not all Ogre, it's some Ogre, I guess it wasn't, it, it wasn't a misleading title for the first game. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I'm just going, you know, I'm just going to vary it. Very mix it up a bit. That's the that's the word I was looking for. Okay, let let's do. Let's go to the the fash school of safe moves first. And also, only moving your players in right. I like just doing random things like that. Oh, this makes a push. Oh, no, I can just blitz him off, so it's all right. I mean, the claw mighty blows blitzing anyway, so. All right, safe moves achieved. Now, next up, blocks with block. All right, don't don't want to get punched by him. Maybe he doesn't blitz. Maybe I just don't blitz. Oh, I'll blitz them, blitz him. Would have knocked him down if I'd hit with the other guy. But. I'll get a two dice in as well. get punched by mummies even though they don't have mighty blow oh god the dice rolls fucking insane oh I'm je oh, audio from Jelly glorious <laughs> Good morning, quick scope and JFK. And uh, if he's seven, yeah, he's, he's like, I'm a nine. And glorious, thank you very much, Onania. I don't know how to pronounce it, but I'm going to say Onania. Um, dodging like an elf, yeah. Punching like elves and uh, dodging like elves. And uh, thank you very, very much for the sub, Onania. Welcome to Team Fantastic. Oh yeah. <laughs> Sorry, lad, you because because I'm because I'm I, I should change it. I should I'll change the titles. I let let's do champs, ogres, and chaos. In fact, chaos ogres, and then that's it. Was ogres at first? The ogres won. The ogres won a game. Um. Alternating chaos orders, yeah. Well, it's more like a chaos, a, a, a chaos sandwich, <laughs> or an ogre sandwich. Team clickbait, oh yeah. <laughs> base, base, base. Right, the claw guy could make a blots here, because I don't need to blots anyone else, do I? I 
and after I have blotted him, he can block. Maybe I do need to blitz somebody else. Maybe not. He could dodge, couldn't he? Can't even hit, can't even get surfed if he's on the sideline. I greet it. Yes! Greed is good. Now I don't have a reel off this dodge though. That was a bit stupid, wasn't it? My right, strength four didn't die because of that greed reroll. Chaos Ogres would be great, yeah, Claw. Claw on normals. Maybe that's what Ogres need to be unnerfed. Unnerf Ogres with, uh... With, uh, Claw access. That'd be pretty good, wouldn't it? Hello, Matty Boo. Yeah, maybe that's it. Maybe that's what, maybe that's what Ogres need. To unnerf Ogres. Make them Chaos Ogres. Give them mutation access. Two heads break tackle, guys, yeah. Be alright on extra arms. You can actually take extra arms on them. <laughs> and like you could have, you could have up to eight ogres as well, couldn't you? Because then it'd be like corn. Corn's eight, isn't it? I've got a feeling. Tens. Oh my god, yeah. Six claw tens ogres. Fucking hell. Because the biggest problem is not that they lose. Well, they they lose to Claw Pom now. Um, but they used to, like when they had lots of ogres, they dominated bash teams, but always lost to agility teams. Whereas now, um, if you gave them that, they could uh, they could actually have a chance against elves, couldn't they? Blocking with block. Don't want to make it two dice without block. TBH. Thumbs. Get a Kaz here to level him up. No. I mean, getting him closer to block or piling on is fine anyway, so. Don't mind that touch at all. Two one zero, Matty Boom. <laughs> yeah, they should all lock, and you're right. You're right. Chaos Ogres would would would, would make them interesting, wouldn't it? Then they could have. Then you could make like a new a new little guy for them that would be better than Snotlings, but worse than like, or just Chaos Halflings. Just have Chaos Halflings. Oh, <gasps> have Chaos Halflings with Chaos Ogres. Glorious. That'll make them pretty good. It would justify them costing more than normal ogres as well. Ah, I hear you, mate. Yeah, that, there you go. Then have 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 chaos ogres with with halflings. Chaos halflings are a thing. Um, in stunty. Yeah, exactly, Kurgo. So. Yeah, that's it. Chaos flings are a thing in stunty. That's why I was thinking it. See. But yeah, I would have had familiars. 
But, um... <laughs> Chaos blockers! Chaos door blockers! <laughs> um, yes, Matty Boom did reach the pit target, yeah. Unbelievably. Sure, Kurgle, but they exist on Fumble in Stunty League. So, um, so, so there you go. Blitz, start off with a blitz. I've only got one assist though. Fuck, they're pretty good, aren't they, being strength like this? So I have to blitz him and then block him with a warrior. Right. And then block him with an assist. And maybe bring in more assist. This is this is tough to deal with all the strength, isn't it? Holy shit. Right, movement guy. Or should I say best Vagal is on pickup duty. And everyone else is on fighting duty. Quite a commitment to try and knock these fuckers down. <laughs> OMG, I can't believe Jimmy has to play Ogres. Well done, boys, girls, lads, boys, lads. <laughs> I can't believe I missed the start of it. <laughs> the soul crushing of Jimmy. <laughs> the thing is, you'd think they, it would be terrible having to play Ogres, but <laughs> they've survived better than Orcs for me so far. <laughs> Which I guess says it all really about my Blood Bowl experience, doesn't it? <gasps> oh, I misclicked! Oh, I need a new mouse. I need a, I need a fucking new mouse, lads, boys, lads. Just quietly, I need a new. I need a new mouse. I need a new hand. Yeah, maybe. All right, one dice. This fuck. <sighs> oh God. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. Hey, a knockdown. Would have been two if I had fucking what the fuck clicked it. When you get a pal, you choose a gym pal. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I'll try a cause I try a cause and cause this hard, but it's tough when you choose pal. <laughs> it pushes instead of pals. <laughs> fucking hell. More a cock on. I shouldn't have gone right up his ass. That was uh, a bit bad. Because now he's for sure going to blitz and base the ball. But fuck it. Yeah, I need a PC, that's true. And, uh, oh god. Total level threats. Oh, VIP sleepless if Yeah, the Ogres have played a game and won. He's just going to base everybody, obviously, because he's he's just like, basing is a good strategy. He's just pushed everyone. Fucking hell. That was really bad. I didn't mean to go right up his ass. 
Well, if there's no armor break, then it's an easy two dice. Oh, good, good guy. Oh god, it even changed the way of uh, Tomb Guardian as well. Yeah, the 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 power the push one. I know the power would have meant that he would have stood up here though, and not given me a two dice block. So actually, <laughs> it worked out <laughs> worked out in my favour. <laughs> <laughs> right, so I think I blitz this guy and then block him, two dice him with claw and two dice him with mighty blow and chain him away and two dice block, block him and two dice block him and two dice block him and it's oh no, yeah, no, it doesn't matter, does it? Oh god, this fucking guy, man. This guy with his infinite dodges, GFIs, one dices. Six two one for August to qualify, was it? Wow. I love Chaos Halflings just because they exist on Fumble, so like while it's not literally according to Warhammer Fantasy roleplay rules, um which is just copied off Lord of the Rings anyway, isn't it? Let's be honest. Um I think Chaos Halflings is the answer. Click the right men's. Good lad. And he blocks him. He, he has to blitz. Unfortunately, he doesn't get an assist for this one. But he blitzes, then he 2Ds. Yeah, that's, that's good, isn't it? So he just blocks here. Two D for him with block. Actually, not taking a push. Outstanding next level strats there. Say hello to my little friend. Ah, I love Super Mega Ultra VIP last frogman. You come to see a fantastic display of pushing power here. No, a knockdown. Outrageous. Oh, actually, one, two, three, four, five, six. Now I'd have to double GFI. Ooh, Kaz. Finally. What did I just say? <laughs> I don't know, Brando. I literally don't know what I just said. I just said it. But, um... If this is a double skull, you can put some pressure on, but I think he's going to be able to do anyway. So. Oh, look, it's my sugar daddy, the last problem. What am I not? No, I mean, the, the saying that halflings are immune to chaos corruption is absolutely just copying off Lord of the Rings, isn't it? Like, you know, orcs and everything. I know Warhammer has a lot of its own law. I'm not saying that Warhammer is complete. I'm not saying all of Warhammer is a direct copy from Lord of the Rings, but saying that halflings, in Warhammer Fantasy roleplay, saying that halflings are immune to chaos corruption is absolutely ripping it off Lord of the Rings, isn't it? Um... So, fuck that anyway. It's not canon, is it? It's not Blood Bowl canon. That's the thing, isn't it? Blood Bowl is just a um, it's just a parody of the Warhammer world. It's not the actual Warhammer world. So, yeah. There are things and inspirations from it, but, but that's an absolute rip-off. Just saying that halflings are immune to chaos corruption is just an absolute blatant rip-off, isn't it? Like, I mean, having halflings is a blatant rip-off. But then saying that they're, that saying that they're uh, immune to chaos corruption is really, really taking the piss. Yeah, the case was invited by Hobbits, yeah, absolutely. Uh, top three favourite PC games. And top three favourite board games. 
So no, what, what what constitutes a board game? Can I have Warhammer? Um Can I have War can I can I have Warhammer? And Magic the Gathering and uh Blood Bowl. Otherwise I guess it would be Blood Bowl, Space Hulk and uh no, it's just it's just an alternate reality. I mean, obviously, it's speculated to be in the future because they like find it a bit like um, when they find the rules. It's a bit like uh, Planet of the Apes, isn't it? So, but Jervis Johnson, who is really the only person who counts, said that it's a uh, it's a parody of the Warhammer world. Disappointing. So I was going to hope to be able to claw the, the mummy. But this works out alright in the end, doesn't it? Oh, baby. Cheeky cars. Getting some cars this half. Lads, boys, lads. I mean, this chap is new to Blood Bowl, isn't he? I think that's pretty clear. He's new to Blood Bowl, and he's just very new. And to the point of making 100 GFIs and everything. But still, I'll take it. No, I could have done that in both for no, I couldn't because I wouldn't you know, Egypt. <laughs> Warriors going off. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't even playing them ironically, yeah. Yeah, it was an alright turn, wasn't it? Can live with that turn. <laughs> is going off off the fucking pitch that's a shame one more Kazi would have leveled congrats on finally <laughs> learning how to <laughs> pay and getting multiple removals and not choosing pushes instead of pads <laughs> thank you very much Matty Boom <laughs> <laughs> Multiple removals is definitely the way, isn't it? It's pretty easy when you when you just roll removals. Could have appled him, but then if I'd appled him in a nothing game that I'm guaranteed to win, it's just asking for a perm on a player, isn't it? So while technically appling was an option, it wasn't one I was gonna consider. Could have I could have pushed him diagonal for another block, but I want to get this warrior forward for the for the handoff. Come to the wrong square. Though. Just random. Both down here is pretty brutal now, isn't it? I oh, know there's a screen there. It's not that bad. Hmm. 
Managed to fuck that up a bit, didn't I? Just quietly. Can re-roll this though, I've got two. Of course it was. That was a horrible turn, yeah. Yeah, it was. It was an absolutely horrible turn. Didn't make the ball safe. Went for the greed claw instead of a safe might block one. Opened up the ball to an easy one dice. Deserved to lose. Yeah, that's true, Joey. Oh, yeah. That's fair. That's fair comment. That's absolute, absolute fair comment. <laughs> I can't argue with that. Probably benefited from it though. Mm. I think I just have to do one dice then, eh? What do I want to do with him? Oh, this is really greedy doing it with him. Because a push is just a nightmare. I've got to do it with him. God. <laughs> God. It was potato time as well after that. The last roll for the for the best for gore potato. Straight up there. Good good job I've removed so many men. Absolutely playing like Lupac here. Yeah, he is he's been he's very new, yeah. <laughs> no, that's the thing. It's um, it's when it's this easy, it's easy to uh, get complacent, isn't it? And I, I got complacent, uh, very complacent, which is stupid because Blood Bowl can easily completely fuck you, can't it? No matter what happens, no matter how new he is or anything. It's still easy to get fucked by Blood Bowl. I should really probably blitz with block, shouldn't I? I can't. I'm 
next level roll panels. Oh well, no handoff though, unfortunately. How long have I played Blood Bowl? Um, 27 years. <laughs> but like, you know, 23 of the kind of third ed one with turnovers and stuff. I believe it's 23. Oh God. Five plus four plus power. Armor break. Of course. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So he's still in range. I don't have a reroll though. That sucks. Yep, there's the one. Yeah, there's a it was a decent string of results without a reroll, was it quite likely to fail? To be fair. Stone tablets. The teams of future was doing that. <laughs> really, Mr. Yemen down. But the ball the way the way I stood the ball couldn't go in the crowd, was it? That was the thing. And he went he went seven. Could I have gone did I only go two with a down player? Could I have gone three and then made it harder? Mm. Yeah, I guess. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, I started with second edge, yeah. Yeah, I'll loop back to it. To be honest, I just fucking... I just started playing shit because it was so easy and I knew I'd won. And I just, you know, I lost focus. And it's, um... My hands up there played, played shit through it. Through the second... Through the second touchdown there. I should have absolutely won two now. But yeah, I still won. Yeah, the game was done, but still should have, should have, uh, should have got the should have got the guard. There was no excuse for not. That was there was that was really bad because getting the guard in there would have been really nice, wouldn't it? And that's disappointing to not get the guard, um, or even just the tenth, the, just the three on best for go. He's still now he needs three touchdowns instead of two to get block on him. Um. The team looks horrible. Horrible for 15, 15 30 after I get rid of this money. Um, fifteen forty then, whatever whatever it is. Um so I might have to sack the might have to sack the the uh the reserve but still a win's a win um <laughs> um 
So there you go. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.